straight down. As you see, this lock is not good enough. Good morning. Welcome to the Advanced Construction Head Office at Lakeside City. I am the MD and this is our project manager, Mr. Derry. Today we are going to do something known as the engineer's test. To test a block to make sure that it's quality. The way you do, you make sure that you wear your safety boots and you always are wearing your safety helmets and some glasses because some of them when they shatter, uh, it might hit you in the eye. Now your one meter is basically your belt and your belly button. So the bottom of the block must be above your belly button. So I'll demonstrate today was uh, in here we have four inches, five inches and six inches. So today I'm going to take a five inch block and take it up. Okay, so as you observe here, this is not one meter. You have to take it above the, the belt and make sure you miss your, uh, your, your feet. And I'm going to drop it now. One, two and three. Good that I'm wearing my safety belt. Thank you very much. Uh, good morning. This is a, a field test, which is also termed as the engineer's test, just to give you a clue of the quality of the block that you are going to use. Uh, on site, it is good to test the block on a hard surface, but mostly on site, you may not have a hard surface like what I have in front of advanced head office now. But if you don't have, what our advice is that you line the block, you take block and lay it on the ground, put it on the ground, then you pick this, which this my block is a four inches hollow block at 28 days old, which assume that it should be fully matured. And by talking of maturity, you need to be here when you mold finish. The engineer says you have to raise it at least one meter above the ground and hit it on the equally hard surface not on the soft ground not on the sand because sand will just compress it and nothing will happen but i want to go beyond the engineers to tell you that this block is of a high quality i will go as i'm standing here my height is 1.53 meters i will raise it to my head then i let it go and this tells you that it is even more beyond the Fantastic. recommendation. And technically, a hollow blow is not meant for low bearing work. But it has proof to you that it can be used for where there is a low bearing. I am going to bring you a 6 inch solid block, which is meant to carry any other load and then substructure, which we all know the benefit of getting a good foundation. Even in the Bible, he says it's only the foolish man who built his house in the sun. The rain will come and he go up. But he will build it on the rock, which a block is an artificial rock. And it's supposed to be as strong as the rock, so that your building, in case of rain or earthquake, it should be able to stand. You can see that at 1.5 meters, it only chip at the end. That is where the impact have actually happened. But the block is still remain intact. You can see use this block for your work. And I assure you, this one, if you also want to go another feather test, just put it inside the basin, put water to a half, and observe. It will tell you more six hours for the water to go up. And that one will tell you the porosity of your blocks. And with this, you will be assured that you are building your house on a rock and not on the sand. Thank you very much. When you want to build, when you want to renovate, when you want to excel, advanced construction is the best.